this is a question under differentiation of a composite functions. And we will be using a chain rule of differentiation to solve the sum. So in this question, h of x is given as f square x. When I say f square x, so that's also same as f of x whole square and minus g square x. So this is going to be same as g of x whole square. And they have said f dash of x is same as minus of g of x and g dash of x is same as f of x. And we need to figure out what is h dash of x. h dash of x is nothing but the derivative of h of x. And if I want to find the derivative of this f of x whole square, we need to think about a chain rule. So the chain rule goes something like this. If whenever I have any function f of g of x, and the differentiation of this f of g of x would be equals to f dash of g of x multiplied by g dash of x. So which means we will be differentiating for the outer function, keeping the inner function as it is, then multiplying with the derivative of the inner function. And here, something to the power of two. So which means we need to think about the power rule of differentiation. The power rule of differentiation is, so the differentiation of x power n is going to be n times x to the power of n minus one. So in that case, something to the power of two would be two times the same function. Instead of x, we have f of x here to the power of two minus one, which is one. Then when I talk about chain rule, so we have to differentiate the inner function as well. So the derivative of inner function would be f dash of x. The differentiation of f of x, we write it as f dash of x. With a similar logic, the derivative of g of x whole square would be, first of all, it's going to be two times keeping the g of x function as a single term to the power of one, then multiply it by the derivative of g of x, which is nothing but g dash of x. So now we are going to replace these informations here in the question. So this is going to be two times f of x into f dash of x is nothing but minus of g of x, then minus two times g of x, because g of x to the power of one is same as g of x and g dash of x can be replaced by f of x. So this thing can be written as minus two times f of x into g of x. And this is also going to be minus, we can also write this one as minus two times f of x and g of x. And here, since these two are like terms, I can add them together. So minus two and minus two would be minus four f of x into g of x. So this is the final answer for this sum. So option C is the right answer.